Hello and welcome students. In this mini video lecture, I am going to talk about at the very brief what is a computer network. This is part of our first unit introduction to computers in our C programming and Python for our first and second semester in Graphic Era universities. Now first, before trying to get into the subject, we are going to answer the question first, what exactly is a computer network? Then we will try to answer the question, what is the need or justification for a computer network? Then understand a very bit about what do you mean by a LAN or a local area network and what do you be mean by a WAN or a wide area network. Then what I will be doing is I will be giving you information about four or five common networking devices like the router, modem, NIC controller okay and you will be required like the firewall, proxy server you will be required to look at the information which I have given and based on your interest do a little more self discovery to understand how these different hardware components work in a network so that when you come to our computer lab when somebody is talking about it he'll be always talking about one of these four or five things. Now if I told you a lot of the previous discussion was looking at a car sitting by flying five kilometers up above in the sky. If I'm talking about computer networks you can think of we are sitting in the same flight and trying to take or understand how an ant looks from the flight. So this is a very very high overview of a computer network. Now the very first question is what is a computer network? So if you look at the definition of a network, network means automatically there is some kind of a connection. So an interconnection of nodes by the means of digital technology for the purpose of sharing resources and for providing services. So first thing is it talks about interconnection. Next thing it talks about nodes. Let us first understand what do we mean by nodes. Nodes could be your servers, it could be your laptop, it could be your desktop, it could be your mobile phone, it could be your scanner, it could be your printer, or it could be a web server or anything. Now what do you mean by resource sharing? For example, I may not have a printer for everybody in my lab but I may have three printers which are shared by 50 users. So here I am trying to say, share the physical hardware device among so many users. Resource sharing not only necessarily has to be only hardware, it can also be software. Say for example, I have got an extremely powerful machine and it can execute program say on a normal machine if it takes three days on my machine it can run in half an hour. So it is very much possible that some user may request me to please execute his or her program on my machine and send the results. So this is an example of a service provided by me. Or in a better example you can think of as a server based network where the server does all the heavy duty or the heavy load work and provides services to all the different people connected to that network. Now when I mean by digital connection, the connection can be by the means of a telephone wire, it can be by the optical cable, it can be by a normal copper wire or it can be even by a wireless technology. So that's how these nodes or different components of a network are connected. Now once you connect all these different components the working or the software in printer is not the same as the scanner as the hardware uh, PC or the laptop or the server. Now we need to establish certain rules so that they can talk sensibly between themselves. Those rules of communication are known as protocols. So you will actually be studying an entire subject called protocols if you are doing computer networks. Then as I had said earlier nodes of this network can be computers, printers, scanners, mobile phones and so on. Now I, had, I can give you one more example of sharing a resource. Suppose I have three printers but say one printer can print 500 pages per one minute. So what I can do is if somebody has to print a book then maybe I may give him permission to use that high speed printer. Now for a computer network all right all the resources okay whether they are the PCs laptops or whatever they are they are given a name all right they are given a name. So all the resources whether they are physical or invisible are given a name and are given an address because that's where you are able to identify that particular resource. So 
resources are services okay and information resources can be either physical resources like the printer or there can be services like doing your running your program for you and so on and so forth now i also told you resources are identified by names and addresses because suppose i want to talk to the printer i can only talk to the printer if on that network the printer has a unique address and name otherwise how will i know that i have got to talk to that printer or how will the network send my communication data to the printer so unique identification of every device on the network is important so that we can locate and communicate with the right node now this is a diagram of a computer network at a very high level all right so here what i am doing is here i have a device called as the switch so switch is used to connect all the devices in my lab for example my server my uh, say desktop laptop smart tv printer and so on or and whatever it is are all connected through this switch so if i have to talk to the server through the switch the traffic goes to the server or from the server using the switch it goes to the individual thing now i can have a number of wireless devices also you these wireless devices also can through the switch get in touch with different devices or these different devices through the switch can get in touch here now when my network wants to talk to people outside my college or university then what i have to do is i will be using something called as a router a router is nothing but it's a device which basically transmits your traffic to the required place so this is an example of the outside world it could be an internet or it could be another network where i am trying to communicate using the internet or sorry using the networking technology so in this first session i just gave you an idea of what is a computer network in the next and the last section of this particular unit i am going to talk about why do we require computer networks and a little little idea about what is a wan and what is a lan with that let's meet next time